Everybody has a team they'd love to see in MCC. A group of four players that are their dream combination for an event. So in this series, I have a guest on to talk about just that. To create their dream MCC event, all for themselves. And today, we have not only a brilliant streamer, not only a wonderful host, but also Minecraft event royalty, the one and only Lockie Ness. G'day everyone. <laughs> Yeah, applause. I, I I love the applause, which I definitely get everywhere I go. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for being on. Uh, how are you today? I'm actually really good. Australia has just qualified to the round of 16 of the World Cup. And for those of you who are true MCC and Minecraft fans, sports happened. Yes. Yeah, I, I it was mad. I, was, I, <laughs> I looked at videos on Twitter and like people up at 3 a.m. with yep. players celebrating. Uh, oh. It was legendary. I love me some sports. I love me some sports. I basically watch every sport there is. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, the first question is, how did you get into MCC? And which was the first one you watched? Uh, well, the way I actually found out about MCC was I was scrolling just on the YouTube homepage back in... It had to have been, what, December 2019, November 2019? Yeah. Um, but I, I'm not... I think it was November 2019, but I can't remember if it was before um, the first MCC or right after it. But I remember seeing a thumbnail for Vicstar's stream of it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was like a... A scheduled stream or is it the VOD of the stream? Actually, it might have been live because I think I remember clicking on it and seeing like the the countdown to MCC going on and I was like, I'll give this a go and then I go, uh, nah, I'll come back to it another <laughs> time and then I ended up coming back a few months later uh, to watch Technoblade and MCC 2 and that was the first time I actually sat down and watched the event. Okay, okay. You're the first ever person that's known about it in MCC 1 that I've met. I've, I ask this question yeah. every time, and I saw it because I watched Jack Sucks at Life back then, so I used to just watch everything he put out, so I watched oh, that, yeah. and then I also watched it, I, I wasn't that interested in the event, but he was what, playing it, uh, he had, in fact ended before Dodgebot happened, because he was just like, I don't care, and then just left, <laughs> um, and then yeah, I watched, I uh, was, yeah, I watched Wolb, I think, that uh, second event, but uh yeah, it was uh, it was a long time ago now. Jesus. Yeah, cause um, I remember I was hesitant to watch it. I I didn't. I was still. <laughs> I, the, I no offense to the Knox crew, but I was like, I hate change and new things, <laughs> and I really didn't want to start watching this new event because I was still hoping that Minecraft Monday was gonna come <laughs> back. <laughs> no, I will not have this. I will not have this <laughs> this new <laughs> event happen. Uh, following on from that, uh, who is your favourite players to watch from the event? Uh, of the, I gotta say, of the current roster. Hmm. If we're going off the, well, I mean, because beforehand, um, you know, through season one, yeah. I always watched Technoblades Same. of um, may he rest in peace, obviously. Hmm. Um, and then through season two, it was really um the. Start of season two, because I think I sort of dropped off after MCC for the end of season one. I didn't see 12 or 13. Um, I did end up watching the VOD of 12 later, and it became one of my favorites. But for season two, I would jump around a lot. I started watching Phil, you know, Tommy, Wilbur, the Sleepy Boys mostly. But also, more recently, uh, Pete, G. Nelly, and Captain Sparkles are also some of my go-tos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, uh, yeah. I watched... Techno, I also watched Techno all through season one. Uh, me and my brothers used to watch them, and it was the best. And now they don't oh, yeah. at all. <laughs> um, uh, Force them back into it. <laughs> one watches it, the other one just doesn't care. Um, which is probably for the best. And then, yeah, pretty much the same as you. I, I did Phil for 12, and then ever since I've just bounced around. Now I do a crazy thing where I watch one team for every game. Which is sometimes Jeez. sometimes really lucky, right? Because you get the best hit game for every team. Like that happened last event, I'd say. I think I got really lucky with uh, in underdogs with who I picked, and sometimes it's just awful. 
But I think yeah, I think my brother is like exclusively wanting to watch the Emerald Elves this event, so it might just end up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He really wants to see Jack Manifold <laughs> after his uh, Jack Manifold team. Oh, I love Jack Manifold. I um, yeah. I, the last few events, I've been trying this thing where I I watch two different perspectives because I've noticed. I, I love watching MCC, but I enjoy MCC so much more if the team I'm watching wins. Yes. And by <laughs> watching two POVs, I'm seeing two creators that I still enjoy, but that way I have a higher chance of that happening. And usually if one of the two creators' teams pulls away, I will sort of just stick with them throughout the rest of the event. There is a there is a tiny amount of players that I've actually watched that I've seen the win on. I go back and watch like most of the VODs, but I think it's only like... 25 I w watched and they won. Uh, 4, 8, 12. And then I'm not sure if the Oh, uh, 21. That's it, I think. That's the only VODs I watched live where they won. Which is... I remember I, sp I um, spontaneously won MCC. I couldn't make up my mind until... I think it was halfway through the first decision dome. I said, <laughs> screw it, I'm going with Pete, and I proceed to watch Pete's dominant performance in 17 all the way through to the end. Hell yes. Hell oh, yes. That was, <laughs> that is that so, was good. so good. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to do. Well, actually, that really takes us on perfectly to what is your favorite team from the tournament. Oh, you see, I've, I tried to think about this answer in advance, hmm. and I'm thinking, if we're going by color, i got to go with the green geckos, because... Uh, my girlfriend, her favorite color is green, and she loves geckos, and it's very sweet nah. if I pick that one. <laughs> if we're going, if we're going by team name, it's got to be the blue black cats, oh, obviously. Dude, most cursed, most cursed. No, best team name. <laughs> but if we're going by teams that have happened in previous events, I've actually made up a list, but I've tried to just narrow it down to my my top picks, which has got to be purple four, green twelve, uh, lime and cyan from eighteen, and then pink and cyan from. 22. I'll be honest, we pretty much have the same list there, I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, we good have a list, lot good of list. The same people. <laughs> I think uh, there's, there's a few, you know, there's a, they, they are definitely some of my favourites. Uh, I mean, 4, 12, 8. Oh, they're so good. Again, I hadn't oh, seen yeah. the wins, so. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few others that didn't quite make it, like Orange oh, yeah. 17, Pink 8, but they're like the ones that everybody there, says. There's a hundred um, there's a hundred good teams, right? <laughs> yeah. Also, shout out to Red 14, who I think is actually a good team, and I'd love to see them run it back again. Oh hell yeah. Uh which takes us again. Favorite win slash event, whatever you know. If if they won, it's fine. If they didn't, it's just the event. Uh I gotta go. <sighs> It's so hard to pick one, isn't it? I mean, to be yeah. fair, we've had so many MCCs that that sort of justifies the whole. It's hard to on, pick one. On you know, green pick? seventeen. W Pardon? Including non cannons, is it thirty-two events now? Or 30, it might be thirty-three. God. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, since you got the two prides, jingle jam, uh, all stars. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> and rising. I, um, okay, so I said green 17, sorry. I meant orange 17, again, it was just a brilliant experience watching that, watching Pete and the team go all the way through, and then green and dodgeball, yes, great. Yes, um, yes. Purple 4, um, obviously was great to see them win, but it, to me at the time, because it was so early on, winning MCC didn't seem like that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> um, I loved 18 and 22, because I had two of my favorite teams come out of that. Like, watching Lime 18 was hilarious. Pink 22, Captain got the win, but it, for me it's got to be Pink 8 because I remember that was the first time I really was like getting into it. I had it up on my TV in the living room and it felt like I was watching like the yeah. World Cup final. Sorry, <laughs> more sports reference. But after they won, I was just running around my living room celebrating at like 5 or 6 a.m. Oh, it was, it was a good day. It was oh, a good day. Yes. You, you actually bring up a funny point. I watched, so I did the entire history, right, of MCC. So I got all the winners' point of views. And it's so what funny watching one where obviously they're excited and happy they won. But then 12 months later in 12 where Tapple literally breaks his like monitor. He's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I have so no idea different. how I would react. I think I, I just, oh, I'd, I'd explode. I'd combust basically. <laughs> I'd get a... 
I'd get another letter from my landlord for noise <laughs> complaints. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> same. Um, what is the favourite game from MCC that you've got? And plus, what is your favourite MCC Island game? Oh, well, I mean, the, the question here is phrased "island game" you're looking forward to. No, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna. I apologise. This was broke before, but you you can say whatever you want. That's fair enough. Um, so favorite game. I'm I'm not I'm not that different or unique or exciting. I'm. It's Sands of Time, and it's it's not really close. Meltdown gave it a good run for its money, but at the end of the day, I just I love Sands of Time. It's just a a beautiful game. It's I would literally watch well. the event if it was just like a mega Sands of Time. <laughs> like if Sands of Time was the event, that would still be so cool. It's like you know, a 30 minute like dungeon run competition or something. I don't know, it's, it's very cool. I'm a big fan of like adventure, Indiana Jones, that it gives me they, those sort of vibes. Um, it's, you just can't beat it. And Parkour Tag um, is probably the game I'm looking forward to on Island. As for what's on there currently, I just play a lot of Sky Battle. Hmm. Um, I am, I need to play a lot of Battle Box because I'm trying to get enough battle box tokens to buy a battle box crate to unlock the blue to unlock the blueprint for the viking helmet variant <laughs> the horned one like from my disc track and it's just yeah. been killing me <laughs> trying to because tokens are so flawed i love you nox crew but you can do nothing in a game of sky battle and walk away with like 50 50 tokens and then you can get like a bunch of kills and win battle box and you get like eight tokens <laughs> and the crate is like 500 and you're like oh wow that's gonna take forever i i really Sorry, want I had the to get that out on, <laughs> on battle box so i'm in the same sort of ship where i'm just grinding yeah also i want the gauntlet and i want the blueprint variant the uh like the infinity gauntlet looking yes, like yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah, thanos's it. gauntlet i want I, I, so I only just saw it the other day and i was like what what this is here yeah, I saw Neb has it, and I'm like, oh, I need, I need, I need. <laughs> I'm interested to see how they do like games like uh, Parkour Tag on Island. Because do you do it where you choose, or how can they do it? It's implementing. I'm, I'm excited to see how they implement certain games. Yeah, well, I've talked about this with people like Ham Sandwiches, and we were talking about how, at the end of the day, everybody wants to play Sands of Time, but you can't really do sands of time on island it's yeah. it just wouldn't work for example like so it would you have to be in a team of four you have to be able to communicate you know like you can't solo queue it um Definitely. also people can just play a bunch and memorize the maps like how many times can they randomly regenerate a new map you know i, I guess it just i guess the only way they could do it is if it was solo because or if you like had a time on the side but even then it's sort of cranked if your team aren't very good or if you're not communicating but if they did it solo there'd just be so many like servers that it would break surely just yeah to do so i don't even know how they would do that I, I i think a lot about these and just what game they could add, add next i guess rocket speed rush or survival games would be fine but then get you know you've got certain games where it's just like how how can you do that one yeah, um, I've been saying that I think of their current game roster, what they really need to do at the end of the day is, I think if they add Ace Race and Parkour Tag to the lineup, then that's like a that's like a set six. And then every now and then they can rotate one out or set in like put in a temporary one. But if they add Ace Race and Parkour Tag to the current existing four, that six would be a good uh, standard lineup of games for the server. I'm going to become the best Ace Racer ever. It's just gonna be the only game I ever play. <laughs> Blood. I can't. I got ping. <laughs> you do, you do. Sometimes I have that issue, and I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your least favorite game? Well, I, I don't know why. I re I don't think it's a bad game. I don't think any of the games are bad. Same. same. And before any one of the comments wants to jump to conclusions, I'm not gonna say Build Mart. I like Build Mart. <laughs> Um, I do, but for my I, at I don't least think anyone game, has I'm... picked Build Mart. Everyone I've asked never picked Build Mart. That's good. I don't know why. I think maybe I'm not interested in it. I don't like the way it looks as a spectator when the streamers play it, but I don't like Rocket Spleef Rush. 
Okay, this is the second person who said this. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I just. I, yeah, I don't know. I can't really put it to words. It's, it doesn't seem fun to watch. It doesn't. It, I don't know. It. I'm sure it's fun to play or or whatever. But I just not a fan of it. I don't think it's bad. Again, it it's good. It's a different type of game from just your standard PvP or whatever. And it, I'm glad it's in the lineup for you know a range. Um, but it's, it's just not for me. It's one of those games as well where if you're out very early, you're just out, right? There's a few of those, yeah. like survival games, so it's just a, it just depends on who you watch as well, and that sometimes that's, that sometimes occurs. Moving on, uh, notable moments you can remember in the event. Oh jeez, I made a whole video of my top ten personal <laughs> moments in MCC, which is definitely not biased at all. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pick three of the ones from there because they're just my favourite ones. I, right out the bat, um, right out the bat. Usually they would say right out the gate or right off the bat, but right out the bat. I think I've heard that before. I wasn't gonna question the, you. The bat is a <laughs> you, the, the, well, the bat's a character in a TV show, but the act is a bit controversial, so we're gonna have to write out the bat right off the show. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Uh, first one is Jerome in Survival Games MCC4. The way he he got that amazing win and stole it from Calvin. Yes. Yeah. Very. Uh, good. Hung Hunger Games God. You know. You don't you don't record like a thousand episode of Minecraft <laughs> Hunger Games and not walk away with a win. You know. <laughs> true. True. Um, I also loved Fundy's antics in uh, MCC18. You know, where he got on top of the battle box map, or he cheesed the puzzle in Sands of Time, or jumping on the wall in in Hole in the Wall. The drunk it's good stream, stuff. The drunk stream, yep. I, was, I there's nothing, there's nothing more enjoyable than a drunk stream. <laughs> Not that I like encourage people to just get drunk all the time. You know, drink responsibly, and if you're of age. Uh, but I mean, dr did you see Tubbo when he did his drunk yes. MCC? Uh, little, little secret uh, is that my last, the underdogs review stream, I was slightly drunk. I was ever so slightly. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I have, Tubbo, inspired by Tubbo. I've been, I can't, I don't want to say who I've been talking to, but I've heard murmurs and, and talking and, and whisperings of the idea of wanting to do a drunk Block Wars team, and I've said, please put me in this. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, and my final notable mem moment from MCC, I, it's because I get very passionate about it, but it's MCC 14 Ace Race, where Filza goes the wrong way. Hell um, yes. Hell due yes. to the fact that everyone started blaming him for being an old, confused man, and I will defend him and, until the day I die, because you know what? The arrow pointed left. Filza flew left, and they're like, no, you're meant to go down. But the arrow was pointing left, not down. If you wanted them to go down, then point the arrow down. That is not <laughs> Phil's fault. He was a scapegoat. I've always mostly blamed Tommy, I can't lie. Tommy just followed him <laughs> like a dog. And everyone was like, oh, two people are going that way. Tommy's like, yep, that's my dad. I am following him. <laughs> just everyone else. Actually, I like that. I want to stop blaming Tommy now. <laughs> I, I remember watching Tommy's um, VOD of the Ace Race, and when he went the wrong way with Phil, and then he got lost, he seemed so like scared and confused, like a lost dog. It was yes, so sad. Exactly. I want to put it in a video called "Saddest MCC Moments." I started tearing up. Like I'm not gonna lie. I'm almost a hundred percent sure he does it twice as well. <laughs> I think he just goes round uh, again. I'm not sure. Yeah, no. he might do, but yeah. He fell so far, but it was tra it was so funny. It was so, it was so funny. funny. One of the oh. most controversial moments in MCC history, it has to be said. <laughs> <laughs> and then they put the head there when they read the map. <laughs> Fills his big head. Oh, that was fantastic. So, the big question, of course, we come to. Who would you have in your dream team out of all the current tournament players? Jeez, this is a big question, because... Yep. This is something I've been working on for a while, you know, there's so many names, like, I, I have tried to think about this, and it's hard, but you know what? Season 2's ending, alright? We're about to hit Season 3. If you've heard of the lovely little campaign Lockiness for MCC Season 3, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna consider myself a current tournament player. This is not at all copium and, and denial. Don't know what you're talking about. For you, Locky, um, it's allowed for you. Yes, it's. It, I mean, it's my whole online personality. Exactly. I'm like a big walking, talking <laughs> self-advertisement. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm putting myself on this team. 
and there's been many, many iterations of this team. Uh, but I think the final lineup I'm happy with, and this would probably be my most ideal dream MCC team ever, would be me, CPK, obviously. I mean, how do you, how do you not, right? I mean, the history and everything. Uh, Tommy in it for the for the content, and because he was nice enough to comment on my videos. And the wonderful G Nelly to round out the team because she has been a big supporter of Late Night with Lockie Ness. And that right there, you've got one of your no. greatest teams ever that could perform well and make some great content. That is that is a absolutely legendary team. I love it. I love it. I uh, I'm Beautiful. a big fan of all of those people as well. So uh, I hope. I Thank hope you. I'd I'd be supporting you in the event. Oh, I just realized I'd hope you support me no matter who was on my team. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I would not. Oh. It would be... Well, if I wasn't on your team, right? And if I was in the event and not on your team, I couldn't support you, right? There you go. I found a loophole. That's unacceptable. That's not a loophole. You should still be going for me. Do what... What was it? When, um... With Tub Tommy and Tubbo sort of, like, met up in a game or something. Oh, yeah, and that was amazing. Like, they, <laughs> They were just helping each other out like bros or something. Or Sapnap and um, Dream then did the, the, the next event where they just didn't punch each other. Or did Yeah, each other. yeah, they exactly. Just sort of See? Sat next to each other. That was amazing. So I don't know what you're talking about. If you're not on my team, you can still support me. That's true, that's true. They had such like great chemistry that they knew ex they kept doing like movements around each other. They weren't in the call with each other, they just knew what the other one was going to do, and it was, oh. Um, whereas Tommy's and Tubbo's was just so good <laughs> because every Tommy's team was annoyed, Tubbo's team was annoyed, and it was just it was it was because Tommy um, Tubbo killed Tommy in Sky Battle, I think, and Tommy just kept ranting at him for the entire rest of the yeah. night. <laughs> I've, oh. I've just remembered another notable moment. I know we're past that question, but speaking of Tommy and Tubbo, has just reminded me of one of my favorite MCC moments ever. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead. It was to get to the other side, skydive, where Tommy and Tubbo built the wall and started blocking people off from getting to the finish. Yes, yes. Was that the thing was all stars? Yes, it was, it was. Oh my God. Oh, that <laughs> was so funny. Oh my God. And they would, oh my, that was... I love, yes, MCC's Tub great. Tubbo does that so often. He did that, I can't remember which event. I think it might be like 22 or, not 22, 23 or something. Where he, at the, um, at the end, he just started punching everyone. And it was the very last one of the last game. So everyone was so <laughs> angry at him. But I aspire to be like Tubbo. He just did not care. Yes, exactly. Inspired to be like Tubbo. So... Following on from that, you thought that was daunting. Who would you want to be in the your dream team if you could have anyone in the world? And I mean just anyone. Sports people, <laughs> politicians, anyone in the world. I how do you how do you do this? You know, I mean that's at least you know, you got some billions to choose from in the pool there. <laughs> I that's, that's not a very nice question. Video, I don't, I don't know how to answer this. People to choose from. <laughs> and yeah, but that's just people. What if I'm going on to like animals? For example, True. I'm thinking maybe Magma from Pokemon. You know, it's just <laughs> oh uh, Scooby Doo. He's a talking animal. Okay, True. Jesus. All right. Uh, my dream team with anyone in the world. I have no idea. I don't think these three have anything really in common. Or would have chemistry but all i'm saying is if you put me and these three people on a team that's making world news it's <laughs> it, it people are coming to check out my stream you know people are coming to watch this if if you put this okay let me let me let me tell you the team and then you can understand why i think that i think it would be brilliant just because people would have to go i have to check this out okay so you've got me Lockie ness the ringleader obviously who's gonna take charge um, by the way, this is a 10th place team. That's, that's, not important. <laughs> that's right. Uh, for any long-term MCC The Show fans, they might get this reference, but I gotta put in Ryan Reynolds. Okay. I always, every time we did the team announcement stream, I was predicting who's gonna be on the next, I always said Ryan Reynolds. Nice, uh, nice. Ryan Reynolds gotta be in there, and also he's just very handsome. Um, next is Zendaya. Nice. Big fan. I'm a big Zendaya fan personally. Um, 
And I, I, on, I mean, that's a that's a rocking team. Imagine that team is making the rounds of Twitter. And obviously, to round it out, you need. We've, we're heading a bit into the sort of music area because Zendaya, she's she's an actress, but she's also a singer. Um, and I'm thinking we're, we're having a good time, but we, we really want to cheer things up, and we need someone who's who's known for being cheerful and and happy and positive, and who better than children's entertainers? So to round out the team, I will be taking Murray from the Wiggles. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. I knew it. As soon as you, as soon as you said musician, I knew it. <laughs> Am I that predictable? Just the Australian link, I think. But just think about that lineup. Lockie Ness, Ryan Reynolds, and Daya Murray. Who really isn't cool. going, what the hell is this? I need to have a look at this Minecraft tournament. That is a team. That is a team and a half. This is how you get followers on Twitch. Genius. That's beautiful. Genius. Flawless. I, I love it. That, that is perhaps the best team ever we've had on. Oh my. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't even. I doubt Murray or Ryan would have even have ever touched Minecraft. Zendaya is probably a 50 50 as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how do I move? And I'm like, guys, come on. We've got to collect sand at the sands of time. I'm sure there was an episode of Casey Undercover <laughs> where uh, she had to play Minecraft, surely. <laughs> I mean, there, was, there was an episode with Pentatonix. They did. They do everything over at the Disney Channel. <laughs> I just, thank God you got that reference. I realised <laughs> how many people are going to get this reference. Oh, I mean, I'm. I mean, maybe I'm a bit older because when I think Zendaya Disney Channel, I, I go to Shake It Up, True. not to Casey no, Undercover. Yeah, yeah. You, are, you are correct. Well, I, I think I'd stop. Just stopped watching the Disney Channel when Shake It Up was on. So, uh, right. I definitely caught the first few episodes. Dog with a blog. That was the final thing I ever watched on Disney Channel. Oh, I hated that. I the hated that show, show but that's okay. The best show ever. Uh, <laughs> Dog with a blog. They Wait. went, mm, let's rhyme two words together, and that's the show. <laughs> Pretty much. That's that's the sort of level they put into the writing as well. <laughs> so um, oh, the dog my dream the Disney team. Channel logo as well. <laughs> that's the best. Oh, God. My dream team needs a sub in case someone can't make it. Maybe Murray's got a concert. Maybe Ryan Reynolds has re reshoots for Deadpool 3, all right? We we need a substitute to, 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 to make it into the event at the last minute. And you know, he's it's, it's got to be the best person I know. And, and, well, second best, obviously. My girlfriend is number one. Um, I, she almost made the list. Not cool enough, though. Uh... <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, let's say Murray can't make it. He's got a concert to go to, right? But we need another guitarist to come in and replace him. We, we need that musical element, you know, that will be familiar with a younger audience as well, all right? So let's say Murray can't make it. The substitute for this dream team has got to be the best Jonas brother, Kevin. <laughs> Is he not the youngest one? He's the <laughs> oldest, but he's oh, the best okay, Jonas okay. brother. <laughs> I love Kevin I'm not, Jonas, I'm not aware and I'm of sick of Jonas's pretending I don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm aware I, I of them, I don't know if I want right? to be here anymore. They stole one of Busted's songs, so of course I'm aware of them. But I'm not, I don't know them off by name. Also, surely the best one is the one not in the band. That's what I think. Frankie Jonas. The youngest, he, he has to be. Now I want Pete Davidson on my team. <laughs> I can't have Pete Davidson and Murray though. Think about that now. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Well, well, okay. Oh. Let's let's uh, let's fix it up for you. The final question, as always, because we have to ask it. Next event, which is literally in a few days, who will you be supporting, and then who do you think the winner will be? Uh, well, it's very easy to know who I'll be supporting once it once the team <laughs> Emerald Elves dropped. With that lineup, I couldn't I couldn't not watch them. I mean, two of the people on Emerald are in my ideal dream team. Plus, right. you got Illumina, who is very good, and Jack, who I guess is funny. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I love Jack. Uh <laughs> Jack is Jack is what I said in my video, in my prediction video. That Jack is Jack, and that is that's, wonderful. Yeah, well, that's a good lineup, and I I, I got I, I can't wait to watch them. And as for the team, I think I'm gonna win. I, I actually just got to back my Emerald Elves, you know? I I don't want to jinx them, shot. and I know a lot of people think Emerald's going to go well, and I don't really... I'm not a prediction kind of guy, and uh, if you see the... Uh, I don't know when this video is coming out, so either the, the 28 MCC pre-show on MCC The Show might be about to come out or is already out. 
don't know when, but um, you'll see on my 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 predictions. I don't take it seriously <laughs> because I mean at this point I'll just spoil it just because I can just to let You'll you know that for football. my individual. Yeah, well, my individual top 10, I predicted them based on how Christmassy their usernames and IGN <laughs> sound. <laughs> the best way to. The best way to. Or who would be yeah. the best? Who, who's the most Christmassy? I think I had Rambu at first. I was thinking little, my little My little reindeer. The top three also. Who else was there? Captain Sparkles, like a sparkly tree. Sniffering. And... And Ant Frost. Ant Frost, yeah. No, Ant, surely Ant Frost is number one. It's got Frost in the name. He was he was the second. No. Well, I mean, I'm I'm in Australia, so I'm used to to summer Christmases. True, that is that's fair. That's fair enough. I can't I can't blame like you there. the hit high five song Santa wear your shorts. I'm used to it being currently zero degrees. So. <laughs> Maybe my Dream MCC team is just the lineup from Big Time Rush. <laughs> oh my god, you could get stuck on it. You're never gonna stop. You're gonna be like, It's oh, a dotting question! Next, it's preying on my mind. You could have had all four Jonas Brothers, but that means you're out. Oh. There's three Jonas Brothers, there's unless four, you count Frankie, which I. <laughs> you have to count uh, he's not in the band, though. He's doing his own thing. I don't care. None of them are in the band now. So, you know. What? Yes, they are. They're back Wait, are together. They? Oh, I don't know. I don't know this stuff. They got me. back together three years ago. I don't listen to music. <laughs> if you got to listen to music, you got to listen to um, you gotta listen to Jonas Brothers. I listen to the MCC soundtrack on loop. That's it. <laughs> Just constantly. Or, mad. final suggestion for my team. I show speed just because I, and if, oh, if, she, if speed doesn't stream and I do, I'm getting like 70 million viewers. That would work. Yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> that, that, yeah. You're going to think, well, who would it be best? Speed, XQC, Mr. Beast. No, I'm thinking speed, Mr. Beast, PewDiePie. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. That's that's that's. I mean, I'm all about the clout. You know me. You gotta go. No streaming to all of them. None. <laughs> yeah, if I'm streaming with with Speed and MCC, my my and his his viewers are in my chat. They're just gonna be saying, "Shut up! I want to hear Speed talk." <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, well, it's a fun question. It's a fun question. It's the best question. Well, thank you so much for being on. Uh, if you if you haven't yet, which why wouldn't you go follow Loki on Twitch and Twitter and anything else? Uh, MCC the show as well. They're amazing. I'm their top follower. Yes. I'm sorry, not top follower. Top. Uh, what is it called? Supporter. Hell yeah. That's my best claim. Yeah. That's the only thing I care about is that I'm top. Every time there's a video, I see my name there. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Well, my uh, my claim to fame is a mediocre diss track, so we all have we all have our own thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, there's there's a thing where I actually would manage to weasel my way a, a reference to the diss track into every video and stream I've ever done. It's, it's the best diss track ever. You you, you have to. I think For now, you just wait till my next one. Oh yeah, I've I've been hearing, I've been hearing. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for watching and of course peace thank you